This is Ghost Spider. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's Hacker Tools video. Ghost Spider is a really cool tool that allows us to spider web pages, to crawl web pages, and to get targets, endpoints, subdomains, everything out of it. So the idea here is that this tool is going to request a page and then it's going to search through that page and look for links to JavaScript files, other directories, other subdomains, other endpoints, anything, and it's going to show that all to us. Now, additionally to that, you can even set it that it's also going to crawl those findings that we have. So it finds a file and it also crawls that file for more files. And that way you really create a web of this application where you have all the files and all the links between them and, and you can be sure that you have almost everything uh, that can be found on that web page without having to go through it all manually. But let's take a look at how this works uh, by running it and doing a very simple scan here. So what are we going to do? We're going to run GhostBiter and then we're going to supply the dash s option. The dash lowercase s option allows us to input a URL to um, any page that we want to scan. Now you can also use dash capital S and then supply a file that holds multiple links that you all want to scan. Following that argument we're going to use the dash o for output and we're going to supply an output file and then we're going to use this dash c lastly which is c standing for a concurrency how many concurrent requests are we going to run and that is how we can perform a simple scan and if i press enter here we're going to see that we get a lot of results instantly it finds subdomains urls javascript forms uh, links anything we can think of it is going to find it and that's obviously very very powerful with that simple scan out of the way, we can also look at some more features that this tool has because this was just the most simple way to go. But there are plenty more features that we can use. And first of all, I want to talk a bit about uh, some param parameters that I call uh, bug bounty parameters because they can help us and help the companies and help us adhere to the rules of a platform. For example, your platform may have a rule that um, you have to set a user agent to be, for example, your integrity email address. You can do that with the dash u or the dash dash user dash agent parameter. We can also set specific cookies with the dash dash cookie and specific headers with the dash capital H or dash dash header uh, parameters. Next up, we also have to talk about speed because this tool can make a lot of requests and can go very fast but you have to make sure that you adhere to the rules of the program that you're hacking and that you don't go over that threshold of that many requests per second. Now you can set uh, the amount of threads you want to use with dash T or dash dash threads. You can uh, set the concurrency with dash C or dash dash concurrent as we saw in the example. And then you can set your delay uh, between new requests and matching domains to dash K or dash dash delay. Now with that out of the way, let's look at some of the some more features that this tool has. Because it can not only find files, it can also find JavaScript files as, we sh uh, as we've shown with dash dash JS. Uh, it can include subdomains which, with dash dash subs. It can also crawl sitemaps. So if it finds a sitemap.xml file, it can also crawl, crawl that if you supply a dash dash sitemap. And the robots.txt file as well with dash dash robots. Now, Following that, we can do some really cool stuff, and that is done with dash h or dash dash other dash source. And this is going to use third party archives such as Common Crawl, um, Wayback Machine, Virus Total, all, that, all those uh, already big databases of files. And from the past, it's going to use them to also find URLs. Um, and then you can also use dash r or dash dash include other domain or other source rather. And what that's going to do, it's going to also then crawl those found um, web pages from archive.org or for common, from common crawl and also keep on crawling them so you know that you have found everything. As you've seen in the example, this generates a ton of output. So we need a means of blacklisting this. And with dash dash blacklist, we can black, blacklist specific um, you, things. So we can supply a, a regex and it's then going to blacklist everything that matches that regex. We can also just whitelist things if we only want specific things. Uh, we can also choose to view the length of every, of, or of 
every file that we get with dash L or dash dash length. And then we can filter out specific things with dash dash filter dash length. Now, this could be ex extremely useful if, for example, this uh, website has a custom 404 page that just returns a 200. So the crawler is going to give you for everything it crawls um, this 200, but you don't want that, obviously. So you could remove that from the results with this filter length. And then you can also do more filtering and find all of these uh, flags in the dash help page for this tool. But you can even filter out certain extensions that you don't want. For example, I can think of PNGs, stuff that's not really interesting that you don't want to see. Well, you can also filter them out. Now, that was it for this tool, Go Spider. I think it's a really interesting tool to get some, uh, some first enumeration of your target to know what they are running, what's going on there. And then from there, you can obviously pick the targets that are important and start hacking. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, like it. If you liked it, of course, uh, comment down below what tools you would like to see us cover in the future. So that was it for me. Have a good day. Take care.